1902 baseball season, Major League Baseball season. And there was still there's still a 140 game schedule, and nobody got the 140 weather, inclement weather. Before the season, the Milwaukee Brewers, 1901 season, moved to St. Louis. They became the Browns. John McGraw leaves the Baltimore Orioles midseason, ends up joining the New York Giants, and would spend the next 30 season seasons in New in New York. Now Connie Mack, I didn't mention the last video. I'm going to mention them now. Original name Cornelia, Cornelius McGillicuddy is in his started his managerial career season previous with the Philadelphia Athletics and would stay there for 50 seasons. That's five zero seasons. And uh, end up having the most wins as a manager and the most losses as a manager. He also played. Ten seasons in the majors, and it, actually, I think it was nine seasons. If I read right, nine seasons in the majors and one in the federal leagues. Federal leagues, the players' league. Uh, smart. He was a smart player. Yes. Yeah, he wasn't that good. Uh, not that great at the bat. He was primarily a catcher. And there, there's a once in a while he would simulate by when he was catching it, he, he would simulate the sound of the ball just barely touching the bat using his fingers to make the sound the sound it would make when that ball just barely touches the bat at the plate. Yeah, he was pretty good at doing that. This would be the last season without the World Series. So standings, American League, as they happened, were in the American League. Philadelphia finished first with 83 wins and 53 losses. St. Louis Browns, who has actually had a good season this season, 78 wins, 58 losses, five games back. Boston Americans are still 77 wins, 60 losses, six and a half back. Chicago White Stockings, 74 wins, 60 losses, 8 back of Philly. Cleveland, yeah, I forget what team name they used this time, it was not blue. Yeah, anyways, 69 wins, 67 losses, 14 games back. Washington Senators, 61 wins, 75 losses, 22 games back. Detroit, 52 wins, 83 losses, 30 and a half games back. And the Baltimore Orioles, who would after the season would be no more because they'd be in New York as the Yankees. Actually, they started as the Americans and became the Yankees. 50 wins, 88 losses, 34 games back. In the, in the National League, Pittsburgh Pirates, very good season. 103 wins, 36 losses. Could have played the Philadelphia Athletics in the World Series had they had the World Series. Brooklyn Superbus. Yeah, the Brooklyn team had many names before sticking with the Dodgers. 75 wins, 63 losses, 27 and a half games back. The Bo Boston Bean Eaters. Still Bean Eaters. 73 wins, 64 losses, 29 back. Cincinnati. 70 wins, 70 losses. 33 and a half back. Chicago Orphans, still Orphans. 68 wins, 69 losses, 34 games back. Cardinals, 60, 56 wins, 78 losses, 44 and a half games back. The Phillies, 56 wins, 81 losses, 46 games back. And New York Giants, 48 game, 48 wins, 84 losses. They were, I don't know, fi around 50 games back. I forgot to put that down. Leaders, that's just going to be primarily batting average, home runs, and RBIs, and 
for pitching, wins, ERA, and strikeouts. So, batting, American League, Ed Delahunt, Ed Delahunty of Washington, led the league with a 376, 376 batting average. Sox Siebold, what a another what a name, Sox Siebold. Hmm. Anyways, with the Philadelphia Athletics, 16 home runs. And Buck Freeman for Boston, 125 RBIs. National League, Ginger Beaumont of Pittsburgh, had a 376 batting average. Ty Delahanty. Tommy Leach of Pittsburgh, who later ended up joining the Boston Red Sox, six home runs, led the National League. You think you look at that now and think, geez, your best utility guy could get that many home runs. And the great Honus Wagner of Pittsburgh, 91 RBIs. Pitching, Cy Young of the American League of the Boston team. Boston Red Sox led the American League with 32 wins. Ed Seaver of Detroit had a 1.91 ER earn run average. And Rube Waddell of the Philadelphia Athletics. Oh, there, that was a character if I ever seen one. More on that later. 210 strikeouts. National League. Jack Shesbro of Pittsburgh, 28 wins. Jack Taylor of Chicago, 1.29 earn run average, and Vic Willis of Bo the Boston Bean Eaters, 225 strikeouts. Some pretty impressive numbers. And tomorrow, the 1903 season, which will feature the first World Series ever played. But that'll be tomorrow. Until then, stay tuned.